Hi, this is Dave from Steel City Jones Flight Academy. Today we're in sunny Florida in Fort Myers, our second home away from home, where we do all of our flight training uh, exclusively in the winter time. So this is our practice facility. We have a huge practice facility here. It's a very large area and ex it's exclusively ours to be able to use. And what we're doing today is a very, very exciting test. We are looking at a new parachute system that especially is being made for the DJI platforms. And part of our flight training and our curriculum really focuses on risk management and making sure that we are uh, absolutely doing everything that we can to prepare for the worst case scenario. So this, we, I can really envision uh, you know, these type of parachutes where you know, there's going to be a lot of aircraft fitted with parachutes in the, in the future. So we're really starting to take a look at this and we're going to uh, do a really exciting test which we'll talk about in a second. But first off, what I want to do is I want to introduce Michael McVeigh from Florida Drone Supply. And Florida Drone Supply is our exclusive um, drone supplier for all our equipment for our, our students. So, Michael, uh, why don't you walk us through how this system works, how it functions? Sure. So the parachutes are designed to help the aircraft lower the kinetic energy of when it hits the ground, uh, softening the impact when the aircraft lands in an unexpected or an emergency situation. They're made to deploy autonomously, meaning you don't have to trigger it from the remote control. The aircraft has enough intelligence in it to know that if it's pitched over and falling, or if the power is cut, you have a battery failure midair and the aircraft starts to fall out of the air, the parachute deploys in less than half a second. It's a ballistic charge that quickly explodes, uh, launches the parachute into the air, fills with air, and it'll stop the descent in about half a second. It'll slow to a manageable uh, descent rate. Okay, so let's talk about one of the potential issues for a system like this is where if it does deploy, you know, the batteries could eject from the aircraft, which we definitely want to do. So why don't you explain how this system prevents that from happening? Yep, so the first thing the parachute does when it deploys is it wants to make sure it cuts the power to the motor so it doesn't tangle the parachute cords in with the propellers. So it does that by ejecting the batteries out the back. When it ejects the batteries, there's a metal stopper in the back that keeps the batteries from flying out and just randomly landing on the ground causing a fire or an explosion. So it'll eject the batteries, but keep them out attached to the aircraft. Right. Now, the ParaZero is the manufacturer that the FAA has already approved to start for certificate of waivers for flying over people. Is that correct? Yeah, ParaZero participated in a standards committee where the FAA, in partnership with a lot of the parachute manufacturers, decided to put together some standards for safety and descent rates and everything that was going to become part of the required specifications of a parachute system, and then ParaZero was on board the first aircraft that the FAA allowed to fly over crowds of people. Good. Um, so let's talk about worst case scenarios. Um, if, you know, this by, I mean, and again, the, the statistics that uh, the manufacturer says is, is extremely comforting to know how, how reliable this system really is. But let's talk about the worst case scenario where the automation doesn't work. Um, is this system something that we can build into where we can actually deploy this manually? Yeah, there's a new um, interface to, on, at least on the M210, where there's an SDK attachment on the back where we can interface into the SDK okay. on the aircraft and then manually deploy the parachute. Great. Um, how much do you think that something like this weighs and what kind of a, um, effect would this have on flight time? Yeah, it's going to depend on aircraft, but they come uh, in systems as small as like phantom size up to systems on the M210 and even larger. They're going to add Somewhere on the small ones, maybe less than a pound, and on the larger ones, maybe between a pound and a pound and a half, two pounds. Okay. Big question now. How, what's the price range of a system like this? Currently, they go up to around $2,500, and uh, they make them for the M600, the 210, and the Phantom, and uh, the M210 is around $2,600. Okay. So um, here's what we're going to do with the test. What we're going to do, as you can see, we have a wide, wide open area back here. 
we're going to put the aircraft right in the middle of the field and we're then just going to go ahead and we're going to cut the power to the motors and, and, and see what happens. And our hope is that, and we're going to actually have a camera on here, our hope is that uh, there's absolutely minimal damage that we can get this aircraft right back up and running if we really had to, which would be so, a similar situation for any kind of application. So that's what we're going to test and then we'll come back and see how we do. So uh, let's get to it. All right, let's go. I would say very successful. Sean, you want to come get the sensor? No sensor damage. No sensor damage. Watch your shadow. Sorry. And... Pick up the other leg. It looks very good. Okay, so the deployment test is done and overall very successful. Uh, this unit actually did everything that it was intended to do. It came down and, I mean, this is a, what would you say is a 14, 15 pound payload? Yeah, all up weight. Yeah, yeah all up weight. Mm -hmm. And it came down very smooth, very slowly. So I think that it actually did exactly what it would be doing, protecting people underneath it. And I mean, overall, very successful. The condition of the aircraft, I would say, uh, the, it probably took the landing gear on a little bit of an awkward bounce yeah. that just took it and tilted it down. So we have a little bit of minimal damage. You want to talk about yeah. what we have? Looks like we've got one broken landing gear that broke off the aircraft frame. And uh, we lost one of our antennas off the front. But other than that, the gimbal, the, we had an X4S and that yeah. landed just fine. That appears to be in good working order. Yep. And the rest of the aircraft is in good working order. The batteries ejected, you know, as they were supposed to. That was successful. And right. How, how did you think? You went and recovered it when it landed. Yeah. How loud was that beeping? Yes. It's loud. It's audibly loud enough to be able to help us recover and, you know, to get that aircraft. If we had nothing else to be able to guide us through it. Yep. And it would continue to beep right until we removed the battery. Exactly. Yeah. So there you go. I, I, I'm very imp uh, impressed with this. What do you think? I think it was great. I think maybe we'll just turn the aircraft around and let everyone see what the inside of a deployed parachute looks like right there. There it is. Yeah. So guys, I would say, you know, if you are interested in a system like this, um, definitely Florida Drone Supply is your uh, go-to people for this. Not only can they sell you this unit, but they can also install it for you as well. And, uh, you know, there's different uh, aircraft this is available for, and some of the other models, like the M600, is a little more complicated. You have to change out a board in the middle of it. Yeah. But um, yeah, I would say so. If you know, if you're looking for something like that, they are your complete uh, source to be able to handle, handle both the, the sales and the install technical support on uh, at, at whatever you have. So, and like I said, we're you know we're going to be uh, selling this and rec really recommending this to our training clients as well. So overall, really good. It's a great test. Great test. Excellent. All Thanks right, again. Dave. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.